Today, we're diving into a topic that has been causing ripples in the tech world, China's rapid rise in the race for AI dominance. You've probably heard of Eric Schmidt, the former CEO of Google, and Alexander Wang, the CEO of Scale AI. Together, these two powerhouses recently issued a bombshell warning that has the potential to change the way we think about AI, national security, and the future of global power. Let's break down why this warning is so urgent and why China might just pull ahead in the AI race. It's a conversation that's happening right now, and it's one we can't afford to ignore. So, if you're ready to dive in, grab a seat because this is a big one. Schmidt and Wang shared their thoughts in a crucial congressional hearing that painted a very clear picture. China is closer than we think. The DeepSeek AI model, which appeared seemingly out of nowhere, has raised eyebrows across the globe. Nobody expected this. But suddenly, it's on par with some of the most advanced models we've seen from the US. This isn't a sci-fi story anymore. This is happening right now. China has arrived in the AI race, and they're not just here to participate, they're here to win. But what happens if China actually beats the US to superhuman level AI? It's a question that carries massive national security implications. Think about it. What would the balance of global power look like if one country suddenly held the keys to the most advanced intelligence in the world? The ability to outthink and outmaneuver adversaries in real time could give them an unprecedented edge. Not just in military power, but in economic influence, technological supremacy, and the ability to shape global policies. A super-intelligent AI could dictate terms in negotiations, predict market shifts before they happen, and even control the flow of information across borders. In this scenario, nations could find themselves at the mercy of one country's AI dominance, fundamentally shifting how global power dynamics are managed. Schmidt didn't sugarcoat it. He was blunt when he said that while many in the US are worried about Taiwan, he's more concerned about China's growing AI capabilities. Why? Because the path to superintelligence is not just a technological leap, it's a geopolitical game changer. And China, with its vast resources and focus on AI, is in a strong position to lead. So let's think about that. Imagine the implications if China were to reach superhuman intelligence first. The balance of power globally would shift in ways that are nearly impossible to predict. We might be looking at a world where intelligence, raw cognitive power, becomes the true battleground, not just weapons or money. This is a race where the stakes are incredibly high and the implications go far beyond the tech world. But what is China doing that's putting them in this position? Well, they've got some serious advantages. Schmidt pointed out that while the US has been effective in restricting access to advanced chips and technology, China has been clever in finding ways around those restrictions. They're pouring billions of dollars into AI research and development. The Chinese government has made it a national priority, and their strategy isn't just to catch up, it's to leap ahead. One key area where China is excelling is in the realm of open source AI. DeepSeek, for instance, is a model that's now rivaling some of the best in the world, even with limited computing power. It's not just a matter of having the best models, it's about making them accessible and open. And that's a huge factor in why China is catching up so quickly. What if China pulls ahead in the AI race? That's a question many experts, including Schmidt and Wang, are grappling with right now. And the reality is, the US is playing catch up in some ways. Although the US has been a leader in AI innovation, the speed at which China is advancing is something that can't be ignored. In fact, some say China might be just three to six months behind the US in terms of AI development. But that gap could narrow or even disappear with the right breakthrough. We're not talking about something theoretical here. This is a race happening in real time and every step counts. Schmidt, Wang, and others agree that if China reaches superintelligence first, it will fundamentally alter the global power structure. And the consequences won't just be about who has the best AI models, they'll extend to national security, military capabilities, and even the future of warfare. Imagine a world where AI is not just assisting in decision-making, but is actually dictating strategy. That's what Schmidt is warning about. 
He envisions a future where super-intelligent AI could design weapons, defenses, and strategies that humans simply can't comprehend. We're already seeing a glimpse of this in the ongoing conflict between Russia and Ukraine, where AI-powered systems are playing a significant role in cyber warfare. But what happens when AI is in the hands of an adversary that can outthink us at every turn? Schmidt brings up an interesting point. If China gets there first, we could face a scenario where AI-controlled drones, capable of executing highly sophisticated maneuvers, are the new face of warfare. These drones wouldn't just follow basic commands. They'd learn, adapt, and make decisions that humans might not even anticipate. That's the level of intelligence we're talking about here. So, what should the U.S. be doing in response? Well, according to Schmidt and Wang, it's clear. Speed is essential. But speed isn't just about developing better AI models faster. It's about creating the infrastructure, policies, and environment to allow innovation to thrive without getting bogged down by overregulation. The US has already seen some challenges in this area. While the EU is moving at a snail's pace in terms of AI regulations, the US has its own set of regulatory hurdles that could slow things down even further. The bottom line is this. China doesn't have the same regulatory constraints. They can act quickly and decisively, making it easier for them to push forward with AI development. Meanwhile, the U.S. is bogged down by layers of bureaucracy and regulation. This isn't to say that the U.S. should completely abandon oversight, but rather that there needs to be a balance between regulation and fostering innovation. It's about making sure that we don't strangle progress in the name of safety. One thing Schmidt and Wang agree on is the need for a national strategy. To maintain dominance in the AI race, the U.S. needs to invest heavily in data, infrastructure, and talent. Schmidt pointed out that the U.S. government is one of the largest producers of data in the world, but much of that data is underutilized when it comes to AI development. To stay ahead, the U.S. needs to create a centralized AI data hub, one that can help accelerate the development of AI models and make data more accessible to developers. Another crucial area is energy. AI development requires massive amounts of computing power, and that means a significant demand for energy. Schmidt paints a picture of the future where data centers, which power AI, will require more energy than entire countries currently use. That's a problem that needs to be solved quickly, especially if the US is going to compete with China's rapidly growing infrastructure. So what can we do now? How can we ensure that the U.S. maintains its position as a leader in AI? It starts with a few key steps. First, there needs to be a clear national AI strategy that prioritizes innovation while still protecting national security. Second, the U.S. should focus on building out AI infrastructure, including data centers and computational resources, to meet the growing demand. Third, we need to invest in talent both in terms of education and immigration, to make sure the U.S. has the brightest minds working on these technologies. Lastly, we need to act fast. The AI race is happening now, and the U.S. can't afford to sit back and wait. As Schmidt and Wang both pointed out, if China reaches superintelligence first, it will change the global power dynamic in ways we can't even begin to imagine. The question is, can the U.S. get there first? As you think about these issues, consider this. What role can you play in ensuring the U.S. stays competitive in the AI race? Whether it's through advocacy, education, or simply staying informed, we all have a stake in this. It's not just about technology, it's about the future of our world. And that's something worth paying attention to. Thanks for joining me on this deep dive into one of the most critical issues of our time. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more discussions on the future of AI, tech, and global power. And of course, feel free to drop your thoughts in the comments. What do you think the U.S. needs to do to stay ahead in the AI race? Let's keep the conversation going. How do you think China's AI advances could affect global politics? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And remember to be uniquely you.